hi guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title of this video it's gonna be a super duper fun one um no but um basically i thought that given the fact that i vlogged ish my experience of taking these exams i ought to make a video talking about the exams and you know sharing sharing my thoughts and feelings um so that's what I'm gonna do and obviously talk about what I got because I feel like that's the only reason why anyone's here if you haven't watched my chaotic exam season vlog from this year which you are so totally free to go and watch that if you'd like to watch someone really struggle and have a bit of a meltdown internally um but if you'd like to be spared from that, um, then I'll, I'll just give you a quick summary of of what we what we had going on this year so far. Actually, do go watch that video though, because it took me like forever to edit. So we basically had our written exams. Um, so we had our SAQ paper, which is short answer questions, which I would argue are not that short. They're not that short. Um, but that was all of the like ethics, law, public health, improving health, global stuff, that kind of vibe. Um, that was all in that paper. And then we had our SBA papers, which both counted for the same exam. Um, and they were just your standard medical student, multiple choice papers, you know, pass med, learn the entirety of medicine, have fun whilst doing it, you know, those kind of vibes. Um, so yeah, originally I was less than pleased to have exams in January because it ruined Christmas and I've never sat like proper exams this early. They've always been in summer. So this just felt, it just felt way too soon. But with hindsight, I actually, I actually feel like it was a good idea because at least they're like over now you know we still have oskies in april but at least that's literally just oskies that we have to focus on normally we have everything like at the same time and it's a bit too overwhelming plus we then had to sit the prescribing exam like two weeks after um and i think i mean that exam is a sore subject for me at the moment i don't really want to talk about it but um i think it would have gone a lot lot worse if i hadn't just sat finals because i just can't imagine having to revise from scratch for the prescribing exam like i just that's just too much for me i feel like at this point it would be a good time to actually tell you my results um i did film my reaction it's very anticlimactic very boring but here you go i'm scared so our results have come out today, albeit very late. Normally they come out at like 11am and today I think it was probably like half past three in the afternoon. Um, and I was in the middle of a teaching session that went on for two hours. So I couldn't even check because I was like, I'm not going to check it in the middle of teaching and then have to like keep a straight face if it all went to shit, you know, like I'd probably burst out crying. So um, I think I'm just going to do it. I'm just, oh, there's no internet. <laughs> Oh, the internet here is so rubbish that like, maybe it's trying to tell me something. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm gonna get onto what I got in a second, but since we're talking about exams, I wanted to let you know that this video is in partnership with Lecturio. They are an amazing platform for medical students. They've got tons of revision resources on there. They've got lecture videos, multiple choice questions. They have overviews of loads of key topics. Really, honestly, amazing. But today I wanted to tell you about a specific program that they have coming up. I know that quite a few of you guys who watch my videos are also medical students and some of you may be thinking about or preparing for the USMLE. So I thought I'd tell you about Lecturio's annual self-assessment week. Lecturio's self-assessment is basically designed to help students figure out how prepared they are for the USMLE and also to be able to practice in kind of a simulated test environment, which is obviously key 
to like fully prepare yourself for any exam. So this is what the self-assessment platform looks like. These are the types of questions that you might get and they have questions separated into blocks that are 60 minute long exactly like you'd get in the real exam. The self-assessment has material for the step one and step two exams and at the end they give you a three digit predicted score which is the same as you'd get in the exam so that you can kind of track your progress and compare it to previous practice. This year's self-assessment week starts on the 26th of February so if you would like to sign up for that or you'd like more information or you want to check that material out then I will leave the link in my description box and if you're preparing for the USMLE best of luck I feel for you. Honestly I did some of the practice questions and it feels like I can't complain about my own exams anymore but I will. I passed. So that's always good. Um, you may be confused by my confusion. I feel like it requires a bit of context. Basically, I really did very minimal work for the SAQ. I did revise for it, but I think any normal person who doesn't leave everything to the last minute and cram would be extremely concerned if they'd done the amount of revision that I had done, if we put it that way. Um, so I was just a bit confused by my results, to be honest. And the SBA, I also didn't revise anywhere near enough. Like people had been revising for months and months and months. And I just, I, for some reason, I just couldn't get myself to do it. And I feel like this is why I didn't appreciate the January exams because I was just not in like the exam zone, not in the exam mindset. It just, I never had to revise around that time of year before, so it just wasn't happening. But anyway, I did a lot more work for the SBA than I did for the SAQ. And which paper did I do better on? The SAQ. Um, so I do feel like it was probably easier to do better in the SAQ though, because it was obviously written and kind of subjective. I ended up getting like 80% in the short answer question paper, which um, mind you, when I had been doing past papers, I was getting absolutely nowhere near that. Like I was, I was just about passing. So I, I'm a bit speechless as to how I <laughs> pulled that knowledge out of my brain in that exam. Um, Cause I thought I'd written absolute rubbish for some of the questions, but apparently it's all in there. Um, no, but for the single best answer paper, I got 75.5%. Um, and they actually gave us on the platform because it was all like online. Um, they gave us like a breakdown of each like area of medicine. So like, you know, cardio, rest, gastro, obstetrics, blah, 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 blah. Um, they gave us a percentage that we got on the questions that were coded under that specialty. Um, which was really interesting to read through because some of these are concerning. I'm I'm quite proud of myself for getting like a hundred percent in some in in the they didn't give us our results for like the two separate papers and I would have been really interested to see what I got. I mean just from looking at this and honestly I could have predicted it. I think I did a lot better in paper two because basically they split up the topics between the papers. I did actually really well in like obstetrics and gynecology. I did pretty well in child health, pretty well in mental health. And yeah, the ones that I really didn't do so well in is like my 25% in perioperative medicine. Um, so maybe I should really go over that. I think it's fair. And like, I got well above the pass mark. I think looking at the mark distributions that Cambridge put out, um, which is always lovely to compare yourself to other people, but looking at my scores on those, I'm pretty much like, in the middle like average and i feel like honestly for the effort that i put in it's it's fair like i can't really complain about that on that note i think i'll leave it there um if you're still watching this kudos to you because i know most of you stopped watching when you found out what i got um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then do give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more fun university content um and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye